All right, here it is. The official full screen optimizations video. Disable full screen optimizations. So first, I'm just going to show how to do this really quick. Just for anybody who just wants to know how to do it. You kind of like already have, know everything else that's going on. But you may not be aware of this. So the thing is, is uh, any program that you run in Windows 10 by default has full screen optimizations on, which nine out of 10 times for games is bad, really bad. You go to the directory, whatever game it is, it could be, it could be anything. It could be like you know, DayZ, how about that? Manage, browse local files, okay. Like here's DayZ, right? Like, so you'd be like this X64 one, I'm pretty sure is the main one. So you can figure this out by just, if you don't know what the actual EXE is, cause there's a bunch that are all similarly named, you can figure it out by control shift escape look at your thing your task manager and then you can look at like the actual you know take me to like open file location like this is obs 64 that's what i'm using to record this right like so you know if you wanted to do it for this you go here and then you go to compatibility boom right so um i have that set up i actually don't know 100 percent if that's best for obs but it from my experience, every program, whether it's a game or whatever, seems like it runs better with it off. Some programs will tell you that it, it's ha it, it's like doesn't run well in compatibility mode. For example, like Steam says that, so I don't do that on Steam. But for every game that I run on Steam, I, I've changed this on the EXE. Properties, right click, properties, compatibility. And then it's right here, disable full screen optimizations, run this program as administrator. So you can change for all users, which just kind of makes it easier. So you know it's always on, unless you don't want that for some reason. But so then you could just do it here and then it's always like that. So that's about it for that. That's how you do it. So the reason why I ended up here with this is because like if you look at what I've put like since like all of this, is like just stuff that you know since i've been learning how to edit and i haven't been streaming every day and stuff so this is the video of why i'm making this because originally i put this because i i've learned about the full screen optimizations accidentally and how much it was affecting which i wrote about here and i even put this here like i'm gonna put a link for the new video and then i'm gonna make this video unlisted because i just essentially what happened is i went to go play PUBG with somebody and I couldn't connect and he couldn't connect. We're in different parts of the country. I'm like, that's fucking weird. So then I like looked up like why it wasn't working, even though the game's up and everything. And this full screen optimization thing came up as like a culprit that makes like you not be able to connect the, to the PUBG servers. Like how like you connect to the actual like, you know, online when you open the main menu and shit. So it like wouldn't even let us in. So it's because of the full screen optimizations. As soon as I disabled it, I was able, we played. So... I started doing that with every program. I, I did it with, um, you know, like the, one of the first things I did was, was Counter-Strike. So I just played for a little bit and then I edited this just like I would normally. And I just wrote in this, when I made this, I was testing full screen optimizations, right? But like now this is the most viewed <laughs> fucking video on the channel. So it's like, okay, clearly there's some somebody who wants like this information. And I just didn't feel like it's presented in the right form. So like this video is to be like, this is the full screen optimizations video and I'm going to unlist this one. And now this video has that. There you go. If you want, let's see. So basically like if you're talking in general, like my steam library is on my second drive, right? So if you go to like your drive that your steam library is on, which is this one for me, and then you go to steam apps and then common, the EXE for the game that you're running is typically in this first folder hierarchy. Sometimes they put it behind more folders, but usually it should be in this first one. Like right here, Rust Client. See how there's Rust and Rust Client? Rust Client is the one that is running when you're playing Rust. So if you came here and you and you did properties compatibility and then did it, but you didn't do it for Rust Client, you're not getting the, the benefit of disabling the full screen optimizations. You know what I'm saying? So like, that's why it's extremely important that you 
check all exes for the games like especially ones like this like daisy there's like four sitting here like one's an uninstaller but you know whatever you know some people might, might not realize like here this one there's one here there's one here but like sometimes there's like like here like look at this so you go remnant there's this one sitting right here but there's actually this one right here and i'm pretty sure this is the one that runs when you play like see it and so i would be doing it right now like this so that's basically what you do so basically of everything that i normally run steam is the only thing that gave me an actual message saying it may not cause problems but compatibility mode might so it's like i just run it as administrator and don't do the full screen optimizations on steam but everything else like every game i run i have full screen optimizations off yeah that's my recommendation i mean if you just try it you'll see you can always just turn it off right it's just a windows setting so it's just weird to have it on by default because it's so has a, such a negative impact for gaming which is like what windows like real selling point is other than like basic workstations yeah it's just kind of stupid to have a default setting that like screws everybody's performance and like people don't really know about you just like leave it up to like professionals or or people who just figure it out to like inform people <laughs> you know and that's just kind of shitty but hey you know people got you got to find out somehow you know the next thing i'm gonna do is a video on graphics options so if you go to your search graphics settings right here so that's that'll be the next one